you put tons and tons of effort in and you get very, very little back, if anything at all. Hello everybody, how are you all doing? I hope you're having a wonderful summer and I've been enjoying all the music videos that I've been putting out. If you haven't seen those, then you should definitely check them out. But today we're just gonna relax and chill. I'm gonna tell you about some of the stuff I've got in the pipeline, some of the stuff that I'm working on at the moment, and some of the stuff that's coming in the future. So uh, yeah, a little bit of an update for you guys today. So far, a lot of my time has been spent working on Between Us, which is a musical that I've written the music and lyrics for. We did a production of it in London back in May. Uh, that was the subject of my last vlog, if you saw that. And uh, that went really, really, really well. And off the back of that, we wanted to do a little UK tour. Originally we wanted to do that tour sort of in the latter part of this year, so kind of like October, November time, um, but because of the amazing response we got back in May, we've kind of scaled up our ideas a bit. We can afford to be a bit more ambitious with the show now, and so with that in mind, we're actually kind of focusing more on the beginning of next year now, rather than trying to rush things out this year. It'll just give us a bit more time to bring all these amazing things together. There's already some really, really cool stuff that's planned for next year and some other stuff that's happening, which I, I can't really talk about yet, annoyingly, but um, it's gonna be good. We've also put together a trailer for the show, uh, so you can check that out on Vimeo. There's a little link in the description uh, down below, so you can check that out if you wanna get a first glimpse of what the show looks like. And all the music in that trailer is from Between Us, so it's your first chance to get to hear some of the music that I've written for the show. Moving on to my solo music project, I've really been kind of struggling with this lately. The fact of the matter is, is that right now I'm just not enjoying being a musician. Making music should be fun. Uh, I didn't get into this because I wanted to do all the organisation or the technical side of things or the worrying about paperwork and all that kind of stuff. I'm happy to admit that that is part of the industry and if you want to succeed and do well then you have to accept that it's not all going to be you know, playing gigs and being a rock star. You have to do some of that boring stuff, but that boring stuff is not why I became a musician. No, I do this because I enjoy being creative and I want to share that creativity with you. But lately I've gotten really bogged down in all the organisational side of things and the best way to promote new songs and how to build an audience for your music. And it's like banging your head against a brick wall. You put tons and tons of effort in and you get very, very little back, if anything at all. And that in a nutshell, is the perfect way to describe what it's like being an independent musician. I've spent so much time banging my head against this metaphorical brick wall, although I have gotten pretty close to actually banging my head against a wall at a few points, that I'd completely forgotten to do the fun bit, the bit that I actually enjoy doing, which is writing and recording and releasing new music. This also ties into Between Us a little bit as well, because one of the things that I wanted to do with the show was to do a cast recording for it, or as, as much of a cast recording as you can do for a one-woman show. I wanted to make sure that the people who couldn't come and see the show when we toured it would be able to at least listen to the music and that those of you who did come and see the show and enjoyed the music would be able to take some of that home with you. So I wasn't really planning on releasing a solo EP this year because I wanted to focus all my efforts on Between Us. In my head it was the perfect plan. I released the Regeneration EP last year, this year I'd do a cast recording for Between Us and then next year I'd go back and do another solo EP. I'd still be releasing new music fairly regularly but it would change things up a bit both for you guys and for me as well. Of course, now that the focus for Between Us is on next year rather than this year, that kind of leaves me without anything to give you this year. Yeah, I'm sure I could rush out an EP if I really wanted to, but I've learned from past experiences, especially as an unsigned musician, that that just doesn't work. If you're an independent musician and you release something without much warning, it just tends to get lost in the noise. But I have a plan. If you're watching this video, which you are, then you probably have a good idea that on my YouTube channel I've been doing weekly videos since about March. Most of those videos have been covers of other people's songs, but I haven't released much original music this year. So here's my grand plan. Instead of putting out an EP this year, I'm just gonna use my YouTube channel to release music when I feel like it. Rather than having to meet deadlines and deal with iTunes and music publishers and all that, when I write a new song, I'm just gonna release it on here. Sometimes I might do a massive arrangement with a full-on music video, other times it might be a little bit more of a sit-down, acoustic-y kind of vibe. But the point is I won't have to sit on these new songs for ages waiting to release them. I'm just gonna put them out there when I feel like it. And yeah, maybe only five people will bother to listen to it, but that's five more people than would have heard it if it was stuck on a hard drive on my computer somewhere. This grand plan of mine starts really, really soon, so a little bit of an announcement for you, but I've just put the finishing touches on a brand new music video for my song Perfect Summer Day, which was on my last EP. So yeah, make sure you keep your eyes open for that because that's coming 
really, really soon, and it's looking really, really cool. I've also got some brand new songs which I've written throughout the course of this year, so hopefully I'm going to be able to film videos for those as well soon. If I can put out at least one new song every month from now until the end of the year, then that's pretty much equivalent to a new EP anyway. Not only will I be releasing these songs on YouTube, but I'm also looking into ways of making these available for you guys to download as well if you want to. So that'll probably be through my website, although I need to kind of tidy up my website a bit in order to make that happen. Oh, and as a bit of a side note as well, I really want to try out doing some live stream events on here too. It's actually really difficult as an unsigned musician to book gigs in music venues if no one's ever heard of you. Uh, I could rant about that for a full video and I probably will in the future. But just getting someone to actually reply to you is a massive challenge in itself never mind actually booking a gig. And if by some miracle you do manage to actually book a gig, most of the time you're playing to an empty room anyway. So I figured why not just cut out the music venues altogether and just live stream some concerts from my studio. I'll still be playing to an empty room, but hopefully some of you will tune in online. I still need to figure out exactly how all this is gonna work, so I need to do some experimenting both with YouTube and with Facebook Live as well. But it's another thing for you guys to look forward to, in addition to a few other little gigs which I do have coming up, which I'll be announcing soon. I hope you can tell that I'm actually really excited about this, and. The point is I haven't felt like that in a while. I'm actually really looking forward to putting this all together and to trying out new stuff and, and just stressing less in general about the whole thing. When I first started playing live with my band, I said to them on the very first day of rehearsals, the most important thing about this whole thing is that it should be fun. If we're not enjoying ourselves, then we're doing something wrong. I'd lost sight of what I'd said about it being fun and I need to get back to that. And I think this is the right way of doing it. And that's not to say that I'll never do another EP. I'll probably do one next year, as well as the Between Us cast recording and maybe some other stuff that I've got planned as well. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna keep releasing music for fun, and that's the point. And likewise, if there's stuff that you guys want to see more of, like if you want to see me cover a particular band more often, or if you want to see more behind the scenes stuff, or if you even like these vlogs, let me know in the comments or on, on Twitter and Facebook. Again, there's links for those in the description because ultimately I am here for your entertainment, and if there's something that you guys want to see more of, then that gives me a really clear idea of what to focus on. I know this has been a bit of a rambly and ranty video, but hopefully you've enjoyed seeing what's going on inside my mind and having it all fall out on camera. But yeah, there's lots of exciting stuff coming up in the future, so if you haven't already, then subscribe to my channel to see brand new videos from me every single week, and there's loads of stuff already on my channel as well. I think my covers playlist is up to like 50 videos now or something ridiculous like that. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!